फ्रेंड्स रिसेंटली द फी शराज और द वेरी शॉर्ट रेंज एयर डिफेंस सिस्टम वाज टेस्टेड एट चांदीपुर एंड दिस मिसाइल सिस्टम हैज बीन डेवलप्ड बाय द रिसर्च सेंटर एट इमारत अंडर द डीआरडीओ एट हैदराबाद मेनी लैबोरेटरीज ऑफ द डीआरडीओ हैज वर्क टुगेदर to create this system along with the industry so what is this short range missile which is going to be inducted into the army navy and the air force before i move ahead i would request you to please do a purchase on our e-commerce site that is sonajuri arts which showcases the handicrafts of west bengal and each purchase goes on to our ngo uma dream foundation where we have taken up a tagline of right to education for the underprivileged so i'll request you to either volunteer for our ngo or do us purchase to give a bright life to these poor artisans and their children now moving on to what is this fee shurats as you all know the igla 1m has been in use by the indian army since the 80s so this system is now basically ill equipped to handle the emerging contemporary threats in 2010 the mod released the request for proposal or what is called the rfp for this vishraj program which initiated the beginning of the selection process this was initially proposed in 2010 and the estimated value was 27000 crores and it was listed amongst one of the higher priority programs by the indian armed forces and several variants including ship based pedestals man portable vehicle mounted versions were planned for question this program was initiated by the then chief of army staff general v k singh in a letter to the former prime minister manmohan singh in march 2012 the tec or the technical evaluation committee examined and proved the rosoboron expo 9k338 igla s the sap rbs 70 ng mbda mistral and the lig next one kp sam sron in jan 12 while the star streak from thales air defense had already been rejected for non compliant at the paper evaluation stage and slowly the complete process kept happening and despite many ups and downs the procurement process was not finished till 2016 the mod conducted reconfirmatory trial in 2016 as a result of vendor non compliance and in 2017 the procurement process was stalled by non compliance of two out of three vendors and in 2018 the army's effort to acquire a man patch a man portable air defense system came to an end after receiving bids from sweden sap rbss 70 ng and france's mbda mistral russia's 9k338 igla s has been deemed as the lowest bidder or the l1 that is in the indian defense language for 3 billion dollars competitive tender so a total of 5175 missiles and related equipment such as launchers sensors thermal imaging sites and command control units have been requested by the indian army under the vishrat program of these about 2300 will be imported in full 260 will be in semi knockdown kits 1000 will be completely knocked down of the ckds and 600 will be produced in india so when all this fell out the drdo seized the opportunity and began developing its own very short range air defense system the fishrats at rci in hyderabad which is responsible for the design and development of this missile system and is being done in collaboration with the drdo laboratories and many indian business partners on january 11th 2023 the mod granted 
This missile variant, the acceptance of necessity or what we call the AON. Reportedly, DRDO Visharat is being built concurrently with another Indian Visharat project as a joint venture between a public sector entity based in Hyderabad, that is with Bharat Dynamics Limited and a private sector entity based in Pune to counter drones, helicopters, fighter jets and missiles coming in. This system is going to work in tandem and this will basically be for jets flighting at very low altitudes which can not be seen by the radars. An order of 200 launchers and 1200 missiles is expected for this project which is valued at 4800 crore rupees. While the army will procure 700 missiles and the air force will procure the rest. DRDO has developed a tripod based weapon system as of May 24 and the work is in progress to miniaturize the technology for use as a shoulder launched variant. The Indian Army is expected to place an initial order for about 500 launchers and 3000 missiles for this project. On July 2024, the Minister of State for Defence and the State notified the Parliament in writing that the defence of the shoulder fired variant can make use of certain subsystems and technology from the Visharats program. The development of the miniaturized fourth generation man portable air defence system Visharaj was officially completed on 5th October 2024 after a series of development trials. As part of the development come production partner that is the DCPP program, DRDO has selected Adani Defense and Aerospace and Icon Tele Limited for its partnership. So how does this missile system work. It basically is propelled by dual thrust rocket motors and is made to take out the low flying targets to guarantee effortless mobility. The missiles design encompassing the launcher has undergone extensive optimization. The Visharad missile incorporates integrated avionics miniaturized reaction control system that is the RCS to increase mid-air maneuverability. The missile uses a state-of-art uncooled infrared imaging seeker. By varying its thrust, the dual pulse solid propellant rocket motor of the Visharaj preserves its maneuverability, boosting thrust when required. In order to improve its skill capabilities, the dual waveband infrared imaging seeker can identify its target and use target specified pursuit algorithms. Under complex countermeasure environments, the seeker can distinguish between targets and decoy with high precision. The reactive thrust vectoring mechanism and aerodynamics surfaces enable complicated and erratic maneuvers while in flight. So, during the development, there have been various tests at various levels, which has finally culminated in the successful trial at Chandipur. On September 27, 2022, DRDO conducted two successful test trials of the Vishrad Mirzai from a ground-based portable launcher from the integrated test range at Chandipur. On 14th March 23, DRDO again conducted two consecutive successful five tests of the missile at Chandepur and on 28th and 29th February 24, the third and fourth tests were conducted successfully from a ground-based portable launcher. On June 24, that the ANI reported the DRDO will be carrying out high altitude trials of missile systems in Ladakh or Siachen and these have been sorted out and cleared. On 1st February 25, three successful flight trials of V Sharad from the ITR have been done and it is ready for induction into the armed forces. The main bidders are for 500 missiles 
The main bidders are the Indian Army at 500 launchers and 3,000 missiles and the Indian Air Force and the Navy for 300 and 1,800 missiles respectively. So this is another force multiplier for the armed forces which can go a long way and outface the old Iglas. So let us see our army becoming stronger and stronger with these modernizations and also in the recent budget, the budget for the defense for modernization through the capital route has been increased. So let us wish our army and the armed forces all the best so that they stay strong and can defend you in a much better way. Jai Hind!